Okay, here we are at the kill switch. And as you can see, there's the eye bolt that comes through. And I run the eye bolt through, you just put the nut on the other side, and then I put an eye lock on it too, double nutted it. This just simply turns right here and screwed off. So when you screw it on, it just locks it right onto the eye bolt. That's all there is to that. This is your kill switch. When you push the button, you kill it because you got your engine on, on at all times. But if this needs to be connected to you every time you go out in the boat, it needs to be on you because if you fall or fall out of the boat, it pulls it and does the same thing as the kill switch, except it killed it automatically instead of having to push it. See, to load it again, i got to pull it back out and put the pull, pull, the pull switch back on. I can go internally and kill it here as well, and that will kill it immediately. But in an emergency when it's connected, then that will kill it. On the back of the kill switch is four mill right there connectors and what I got here is they're already been electric taped but what I got here is I went ahead and I ordered the kit uh, from um, Robert at Milner and what I did is it was, I just found it so much easier to just go ahead and order the kit from him. By the time you go to the automotive store and pay five or ten bucks for all your connectors and your wire and come back here, you're going to just end up spending all your gas and time when if you just get the kit, it's going to be cheaper, cheaper for you. All it is is there's a mill plug-in right here that goes to a ground. And it travels down with the magneto wire, or you could call it maybe the hot wire or the kill switch wire. So you got a ground new kill switch wire. They're coming down. They come down the handle. You can see where I zip tied them. Then they come up in front of the motor right here, up by the gasoline more or less, and it comes right on up and over, and it comes right on around the side here. So they both come right on around. We're going to start with the uh, ground, and what, the ground is just a little loop, one of those little loop connectors. And what I did is you're using the M and the M on the kill, kill switch. Not the I and the I. You're going to use the M and the M. It doesn't matter which wire goes in, but one's got to go in the M, and then the other one's got to go in the bottom end. So they're crisscross from each other. So you take the two black wires that he sends you, and you plug them in the M and M. You bring the um, magneto wire or the kill switch wire down and the ground wire. The ground wire, what I did is, is since it's got the little loop in it that the screw goes through, you can put it different places on the engine that's got that same size screw. But I found on my level, my... Um, my shutoff switch for my oil, my shutoff switch, uh, and this is my oil level. What I did is I went behind that box. I unscrewed it, I put the ground on, and I screwed it back on, and my ground was done. So my ground went from ground up to one of the M's on the kill switch. Then the other kill switch wire that come down, it come down to the, it's right down here. And what I did is... I'll unplug it right here and okay actually yep right I can unplug it and what you do and we'll start this over okay so what happened is I'm like this I got this wire and I unplugged all these wires and now all you have is there is your on and off switch okay and this is a female coming from the magneto. So when I unplugged all this and all I have is a female hand and mill, you just take the mill coming off of that on off switch and you plug it into your magneto wire that's going up to the kill switch. So you're done there. Then you come over here and as you can see this right here is from the black, see the yellow wire from the oil level shut off, okay from the oil shut off there's yellow wire, there's a black wire coming out. The black wire, since it's a mill, is going to go into the mill side, into the female side of this little connector that Roger's going to send you. So you take the mill side coming out of that box and you shove it right in there. Leaving a mill and a mill over here. So then you're going to take the wire from the coil, the coil wire coming out of the engine, and stick it in either one of the mills, push it into the mill, you're done there. So now you've got that all done. Come back over here to the kill switch, which is a female. Now you got a mill here. You're going to take the kill switch wire that goes to the on and off switch and up to the M on the kill switch. And you're simply going to bring it around and you're going to stick it right into either one of those. And now you got, you're done. I got a little bit of uh, 
shrink wrap, uh, pull shrink wrap up over it all and shrink wrap it off a little electrical. But see, you can see right here, I can shrink wrap all this and then put a little bit of my electrical tape, um, liquid tape, and touch everything up. And then all you do is you just gather all this stuff up to make it nice and neat. And you take it and switch it, stick it right into your holder and make sure all your wires are ready to go and push that bad boy up there tight and you're locked in. Everything's nice and neat sitting back behind the engine where it's protected and you are done with your kill switch. That easy.